Well, the Tories have their leader, Tim Houston, elected pretty decisively on this past weekend. And you've watched these leadership transitions happen in the past. Now that he's in the office this week, what's he doing his first week on the job? Well, the first thing he's doing is shuffling uh, staff assignments, bringing in his people, and unfortunately letting go people who would have backed uh, other candidates. And that's already started. The next thing he'll do is meet with his caucus and dole out some of those uh, perks, if you will, jobs that he needs uh, done. Caucus as chair, uh, whip, uh, house leader. These are all positions that the MLAs get that have a little bit of a bump in salary. Plus, the next thing he'll have to do is then dole out uh, shadow responsibilities in terms of the different departments. Right, and then the next thing he's got to do is he's got to hit the road again. He's been on the road for a long time already. He's got to get back out there, particularly to the Cape Breton area, to try to pull supporters of other candidates into his camp and, and find that unity. He's going to have more time to do that than normal because typically the house would be coming into session around now if it weren't already that's not going to be an issue because Stephen McNeil the premier called an early fall sitting this year and I would argue that Tim Houston is going to benefit more from being away from the cameras for a little while so that he can develop that leadership persona that he wants when the house finally comes back in the spring right so although he's been on the road since last november uh trying to get this job now that he's won it well the only reward for hard work is even more hard work